Okay, now you hear me. Yeah, now the, uh, we can ask the questions. So the topic of uh, breaking this uh, cycle of family pain. So if you have uh, uh, some specific questions, please go ahead. Okay, so the question is that sometimes it's too painful to interact with the family or too painful to even take three pills, too painful to even feel the stillness, silence, and spaciousness. So, you see, when we say it's too painful to interact, uh, it's important to see that need to interact, as you said, something like this. Too painful to interact, so I cannot interact. So you do not have to interact. That's the whole point. Sometimes we feel that we have to interact with the family. Even though you are feeling a lot of pain, you feel you have to interact with the family. You have to do something. You have to say something. So... Just be aware, when you are in so much in pain, when you are so much loss, when you are feeling so much confusion, you do not have to interact with your family. You do not need to do anything. You do not need to say anything. You do not need to change anything. You just simply allow the experience you are feeling like a pain or sense of loss. Just feel the space in which these experiences are happening. So, for example, if this happening to me, I'm feeling so much pain with the family situation, I cannot interact. I cannot do anything. I cannot say anything. So, just simply I should be aware that I don't need to do anything. I don't need to say anything. I'll just feel what I'm feeling. I allow to feel what I'm feeling. I permit to feel my feeling. I permit myself not to do things, not to say things. Just allow and feel the space a little bit. By allowing it, by permitting it, by seeing it's okay to feel what I'm feeling this moment, you're already uh, experiencing some space. So that space is very important to be aware and and, and in that space, feel what you're feeling. It's most important than trying to do something or say something. So don't think about you have to say or do anything that moment. When you feel that space, it will already begin to shift the energy and change and help you. So the question is, when, when you are trying to be nice <clears throat> and trying to connect with the other family member, when they are trying to uh, go, uh, be, going away or feeling, um, I say, uh, making more distance, what should I do? Yeah, so, so maybe... You know, of course, it's very difficult, uh, uh, how you say, a question to answer because each situations are very different from each other. And many times these situ situations are very conflict, uh, very complicated situation. So what I would gen generally, uh, what I would recommend is when somebody is drawing away or bringing more distance when you're trying to be close, closer, then don't try to be closer. You know, don't try to um, 
do something again don't trying to do something or don't trying to say something uh, because maybe doing something or saying something it have to be in right moment and maybe it it's it is a not the right time because maybe it's not the right time maybe it's possible that you have just said something that hurt, hurt that person maybe it's you you have done something that hurt that person uh, maybe you have maybe something happened there that's why the person is uh, drawing uh, or how you say it, uh, bringing more distance and maybe that person is not feeling comfort comfortable they're not feeling enough trust in the situation so more you ha try harder uh, it's not going to work so again once again you have to give some sense of more space and time to that situation as you will give the space and time and warmth to your own inner pain when your pain is active then only it helps the same way the situation needs time not a force of love or not force or trying to be closer or effortful love effortful trying to connect and painful trying to connect you don't need anything you just need a little time a little space and respect that time and space and don't push that so i would not i would not recommend to push the situation i would i would recommend to give some time and space as we say time heals give some time and then when you when you given some time and then you what you can do is you look address your own inner pain by giving more space to yourself see the situation more clearly feel the situation more clearly even your own pain trying to feel host them more clearly care about them more clearly and then once you able to heal your own pain once you feel more genuine space in yourself then you will have ability to connect more authentic way of connecting with that situation on another person will arise and when that arises when when the genuine connection arises nobody will reject that when effortful effortful trying to uh, you, when you're trying to connect with somebody people don't like it painfully when you're trying to connect people run away so just be aware of that So that's a good question that's kind of a little bit like a opposite question so that when what you do when the other person is um, becoming more aggressive and angry when when you're trying to give more space well again all these th questions are really complicated it's not nothing there's specific answer to that because every situation is unique and but i can of course i will just generally i will say some few words about it um so sometime we give a space also uh maybe you know if you really feeling a space if you let's say if you really feeling a genuine space space basically means openness definition of openness means from that openness there is exist awareness that awareness has certain spontaneous um responses or, or manifestation of that awareness what which is that it responses to what is necessary to the situation so if if it need to be respond it does respond not give space if it does need to get give a space it does give a space not response so sometime when you are trying to give a space it's not a space it's a pain that trying to create a space so maybe you are calling it space maybe it's not a space it's a pain which is pretending to create a space and that moment maybe space is not necessary but some response is necessary some connection is necessary but you are not allowing it because it's not spontaneously manifesting because you're creating a false space to the situation because you know the idea of creating a space is right 
intellectually you understand the idea of creating space is right therefore you are full space you're creating if you genuinely feel space you won't be you won't be creating a space or feeling a space you will feel more response because the situation requires a response a genuine sense of openness it always responds to the situation it does not create a something different from what the situation is needed so that's a wonderful question is a question is that is it possible to heal the family pain if the family members are already dead of course you know just imagine how many times if you believe in buddhism how many times we have died countless time we have died does it mean that we cannot uh, purify our previous life karma of course we can purify our previous life karma or many lifetime karma we have to purify if it's possible so same way i think in a way i think it's really important to to trying to clear um the family Uh, pain and family karma with the people who have passed away because for the benefit of to those people and also that it will help your own uh, life you know because many time way we live current current situation of our life it's been to- constantly impacted by past and past relationship past family pains particularly pain Uh, that which is so much deep in rooted in in also a, a love so because we love we feel pain for us it's very difficult to distinguish sometimes what is pain and what is love in in fact sometimes very strangely that we feel when you when you love somebody you have to have a pain when you care somebody you feel you need to to suffer when you are when you need to be productive that you need to to suffer to be a productive we we have this strange ideas in a way you don't need to to be you know uh, suff- you don't have to have suffering to be creative and productive you don't have to have pain to love somebody so absolutely so i would recommend to do the same exactly same way when you when you feel that your present life is so much impacted by the past karma and past family karma and particularly family who have died and during your deep meditation when you feel uh, stillness silence spaciousness three pills when you feel enough connection enough space you bring into a conscious those family members who has passed away feel their pain host their pain feel empathy feel compassion and and through that space through that empathy through that compassion you will definitely heal the family karma with the pa- family who have been passed away wonderful thank you um so the question is i do not feel love toward my sister the sister who does not love me who have criticized me who have rejected me so i i do not feel love
as I said earlier, when you are in that space, you see a different system. Sister, who is your part of your family. Sister, you part of your life you grew up together with, played with. Sister, who you have shared love from your parents. Sister, who is just human being, a sentient being, like yourself, like ourselves, who has a dream, has a wish, has challenges, has pains, has experience of being lost, but deep inside, there is there is a love. When you are in the right space, right awareness and right warmth, you see a different sister, therefore you are you will able to feel warmth, you will able to feel love, you will able to feel connection. So your question is absolutely right. I do not feel love. She hates me. She's angry at me. So the one who is asking question, the I do not feel the love, you need to, to let go for a moment. Or you have to look at very closely that the one who is asking question is in pain. It's in pain. Be open to the one who is asking question. Be open to the one who is asking question, who is feeling pain. Allow, permit to experience that pain. Give space for that pain. Allow that pain to heal a little bit. When you feel that pain is weakening, releasing, when you feel more space, then you begin to feel more who you are. When you see more who you are, you will feel the more who that person is. You will feel able to feel more warmth because of knowing who that person is. You are able to feel more love. You are able to relate. You are able to talk. You are able to exchange. You are able to share, you're able to do things together. It will come gradually, it will come. Okay, so the last question. Okay, so the, the question here is, so this is the last uh, question and uh, uh, I think it's related with uh, basically um, feeling uh, collective family pain or cycle of family pain, uh, getting into the same, trapping into the same kind of pain patterns just because of trying to take care of family member, you know, uh, parents trying to take care of children uh, or children trying to take care of elderly parents or, or or another member of family trying to take care of somebody who is dying, who is sick, who, who is in terminal uh, uh, say, uh, sickness or disease or something like that. So many situations like that, we do, we do feel a lot of pain, we feel a lot of loss sometimes, even, even we begin to feel pain, I say angry, uh, because of we're trying to help is not getting anywhere. So, 
So first of all, again, I think in all those situations, just simply remember helping somebody does not mean doing it your way. Helping somebody means doing it their way, not your way. Just first remember that. If you're trying to help somebody, you do their way, not your way. Because helping somebody means you need to do, not trying to get stuck with your idea, rather connect with the need of the other person, which, not be, which might not be exactly what you think it should be done. Because you need to connect in order to help. Many, many times, we, why, we why we fail to help a loved one, why we fail to help the situation, why we fail to help the group, why we help, fail to help family members or Sangha, because we are not able to let go of our own identity, our own pain, our own ideas. First, that, that's what it should happen. So you recognize when you're trying to help somebody, feel what is their need. In some cases, there's nothing you can do. But you can be open. If you're open, if there's anything needed to be done or not needed to be done or stop doing what you're doing, the best way you will know that is when you're open. How many times we keep on doing in the name of help when it's not needed? How many times we keep on uh, loving somebody or uh, which is not really even a love, it's a pain, keep on continuing a relationship with a pain relationship which you call it love. You don't know how to stop it because you're not open and you don't see stopping it will be much more helpful than continuing. So the bottom line advice in those situations is really, again, always the principle the same. Recognize your own pain, your own pain body. Recognize your own pain speech, speech which, which has lack of awareness. Recognize your own pain mind. The imagination which lack awareness, imagination which are totally driven by pains. Recognize that's what's happening right this moment. That's what's happening. I'm having these thoughts. I don't even want to think about it. It's happening. I'm feeling what I'm feeling. I don't want to even want to feel, but I'm feeling these pains. I cannot control. Just recognize that. Don't do anything. Don't say anything. Recognize what's happening. Give, feel space for what is happening. When you're able to feel space what's happening, when you're able to feel the space for that pain, then pain heals, pain releases. New awareness arises. Awareness sees the new situation. Awareness sees what is needed. Awareness able to connect with those people then other people will feel wonderful. In a way, doing less, saying less, imagining less, being more, being present more, being together more, feeling connection more, will help more. Okay? So with that note, I think uh, I'm, we're going to uh, stop here. And uh, I hope uh, our last session of uh, this little meditation was helpful. And uh, until next webcast, uh, thank you very much. All my blessing and uh, love to all of you and particularly uh, that you're, you're in your practices and your uh, Pray, praying and your wish to break 
the cycle of this family pain and finding a new family, new yourself, new relationship. Thank you very much.